3M Full Face Mask FF400 Series Fitting Video The following inspection procedure is recommended before use. Ensure that the head straps are intact and of good elasticity. Check the face piece for cracks, tears and dirt. Be certain the face piece, especially the face seal area, is not distorted. The material must be pliable, not stiff. Remove the exhalation valve cover and examine the exhalation valve and valve seat for signs of dirt, distortion, cracks or tears. Replace the valve cover. Examine the inhalation valves for cracks and tears. Lift valves and inspect the valve seat for dirt or cracks. Make sure all gaskets are properly seated. Undertake pre-use checks on filters as outlined in the appropriate use instructions. Remove the filter from its outer packaging and check that the filter is appropriate for the purpose. Check the colour code, letter code and class. Check that the use by date has not been exceeded. Care should be exercised when using previously unpacked filters as they may have reduced service life or may have already been used. Place the filter onto the 501 retainer so that the printed side will face the gas and vapour filter. Place the 501 retainer onto the gas and vapour filter. It should lock securely. The filter should be completely covering the face of the gas and vapour filter. Align the 6000 series filter notch with face piece mark and push together. Turn the filter one quarter turn clockwise to stop. Ensure that both filters are of the same type and class. Fitting instructions must be followed each time the product is worn. First, fully loosen all the head straps. Hold the front of the mask with one hand and the straps or comfort cradle away from the mask with the other, creating an opening for the head. Pull the face mask down over the head and put the face through the opening. Place the nose in the nose cup and the chin in the chin cup area and then press the face piece firmly down. Pull the head harness to the back of the head. First, tighten the bottom strap, then the middle, then the top straps in a similar manner. Be careful to tighten both sides equally. Recheck all straps to ensure that they are tight and evenly tensioned so that the head harness is centred on the back of your head. Ensure that the straps and tabs lay flat against your head. Repeat this step twice. After donning, verify the following. Nothing comes between the face and the sealing surface of the respirator. Facial hair or sideburns may have to be trimmed. Make sure the bottom and middle straps do not cut into the ears and the bottom of the mask assembly does not cut into the throat. Make sure the eyes are looking between the centre and top third of the lens. Check there are no visible gaps between the face seal and the face and that the skin in front of the ear is not wrinkled. Make sure the nose cup does not obscure vision. Always check the seal of the respirator on your face before entering a contaminated area. The positive pressure seal check is the primary and preferred method of verification of a good seal for all cartridges and filter configurations with this mask. Remove the exhalation valve cover. Place the palm of the hand over the exhalation valve and exhale gently. If the face piece bulges slightly and no air leaks are detected between the face and the face piece, a proper seal has been obtained. Replace the exhalation valve cover. The negative pressure user seal check can also be done for additional verification of a good seal for this mask with the 3M 6000 series cartridges and filters. If you cannot achieve a proper fit, do not enter the hazardous area. Only use the spectacle kit available as an accessory with this product and ensure that the spectacle arms do not interfere with the seal. 